Chandler's restaurant is always whipping up delicious dish after dish in the Mass Appeal kitchen and at theirs. And today, we're joined by official Mass Appeal chef Greg Manette from Chandler's restaurant in South Deerfield for yet another treat. Greg, I love having you here. Thanks, Seth. And today, it looks so good. Yeah. No, we, we got some good food and uh, plenty of uh, plenty of stuff for the crew, too. So <laughs> that yeah. You are speaking my language. Yep. So we're making a pork loin, but it's not your average pork loin. It isn't. It, what, what I wanted to do was do something uh, quick, uh, inexpensive, um, and uh, and really kind of simple, but there's a, there's some technique involved that uh, just makes it interesting. That's what I love. Yeah. This is one of those recipes that, you know, pork is relatively cheap, yep. but when it's all put together, it's like a 20, it looks like a $20 meal. Right. Well, exactly. Uh, we would. This would probably be about a mid-range uh, entree at the, at the restaurant, but um, so the idea here is to not instead of buying like a you know an eight-pound pork loin, mm -hmm. you can buy one two-pound. Um, what I did was butterfly this out, so I took you know you could roll this up and it'll be the shape that uh, that a pork loin would be basically, mm -hmm. uh, but just butterfly it out, but just starting in the bottom and cutting thin you know thin strips all the way through so that you can roll out the whole thing. So it makes it thinner. Exactly. And then in the end here, we're just going to pound it out a little bit. All right, get some aggression out. Are you looking for a certain amount of uh, like thickness? I'm basically about a half an inch. Okay. Qu quarter to a half an inch is good. Quarters maybe a little too thin. Uh, so again, I mean, you know, this is a pork loin. You can do this with uh, with a flank steak, uh, beef tenderloin, uh, same kind of maybe same with procedure. Like chicken breast too. It would be smaller, obviously. Exactly. Exactly. And so you've seasoned this too. Is that a little salt and pepper? A little salt on and there? pepper, and then I took uh, really just andouille sausage, a uh, little bit of breadcrumbs, fennel, leeks, and spinach, and a little bit of goat cheese, and made a made a stuffing. Wow, that's a lot of things I wouldn't think of in there. What's the anatuli and andouille? Andouille. And andouille. That's a sausage. It is andouille. Andouille. That's it's Spanish? a spicy sausage. It's uh, it's Cajun. Cajun. Yep. Oh, there's the spice then. So Chandler's in December. Must be pretty magical up there. It is, it is. We have a lot going on with the holidays, uh, especially the holiday musical, which is put on every year by uh, Jaduk uh, Entertainment. Uh -huh. And uh, we have, uh, there's a few dates for it. I think starting the, the 17th, I think the 22nd, and, uh, and possibly the 23rd after that. Um, you can go online to Jaduk Entertainment and, uh, and purchase tickets for it. We do, uh, we do a buffet uh, seating for every show. And oh, wow. um, it's something that really for the whole family, uh, it's, a, it's just a lot of fun. And people can always go to your Facebook page too because you have all the updates happening and, and things that are going on at the Village and at Chandler's. Exactly, exactly. So what I, a lot of people, you know, you could just make a big mound in the middle, wrap the whole thing up, you're done. Mm -hmm. But we're, we're just kind of doing like a pinwheel thing so Ooh. when it cuts, you know, we can basically take the whole thing. I always have trouble when I'm cooking mine at home, cooking it all the way through. Yeah. What's your secret to doing it? So your uh, secret is really just well, I'll show you the technique we're going to use because we're going to start it in a pan. And uh, actually, if you want to oh. put a little bit of oil sure. in that pan behind me. And uh, I hope this is the oil. That is the oil. Okay, good. Start with a little bit. Tell me when. Good. Because the pork's going to make its own oil too, right? It is. And tying off, this is a little intimidating for people mm -hmm. sometimes. But really, it's you just make a circle, you make a little knot, and then you make another circle, pull it through. Oh. And then you can cinch it up you want if you want. Really, all we're doing is just trying to hold it all together. Oh, this is a lot easier than I thought it would be. You're pro you've probably done this about a million times, though. Yeah, yeah. So what are some of your favorite new items that are on your menu? Uh, new items on the menu? Well, right now, this time of year, we stuck with our lobster brioche, uh, brioche which is uh, really like a lobster roll, but we do it on a, a homemade brioche roll that we make. Oh, how and, unique is that? And, uh, nice. and it's, it's just beautiful. People love it. We can turn down the heat a little bit or All just right. take it off the heat for right now. And so what's the point in pan searing it before putting it in the oven? Does it give it a little crust? It does give it a little bit of a little bit of a crust. Um, you know, trap some of the juices on uh, you know from the, the exterior in there. And uh, basically, you know, just kind of gives it some color before we throw it in the oven. Because what we want to do is sear it off in high heat, and then we want it to finish mm -hmm. uh, at a moderate heat. So about 325 for about 50 minutes. Okay. Uh, 55 minutes, depending upon how thick this is. So this is just a nice, nice little tight little wrap here. Uh huh. Uh, we're gonna throw it right in the oil. Our pan is is actually very hot, so that we basically made a non-stick uh, surface. You'll oh, see that's it just how rolls it works? around. Yep. I didn't know that. So if, if you have one of these pans that's not Teflon, you want to make a non-stick surface. Exactly. Jack we'll, it up really high. Right. Well, well, what you did basically was season it with the oil, 
And so we have like a nice little sheen layer in there, mm -hmm. and then it'll prevent everything from sticking. So once again, how long do we keep it in the pan for before we put it in the oven? In the pan. Well, you want to just kind of caramelize the outside. Okay. You know, so you'll see. To you'll sear see in all that good the, flavor. You can see the color already oh, starting wow, here. Oh, that was quick. And that's the garlic. You know, that's, that's some of the skin as well. Mm -hmm. And as we roll it around the pan, it'll, it'll become uh, you know, more caramelized around the outside. Great. And then we would want to uh, basically just finish it in the oven. But before, actually before that, what you're doing is, you know, you're going to get some stuff stuck on the bottom of that eventually. Uh -huh. And so one thing, to help it cook in the oven and to keep it from burning, uh, we take, uh, I use like a little bit of white wine. And this makes it so it doesn't stick up on there? Well, what it does is it's bringing up all this, the pieces that's stuck in the bottom of the pan. And so we're deglazing the pan, basically. Oh, I wish I knew that 10 years ago. Yeah, I think, all my pans look awful right yep. now. Now, people have, you know, people use the deglazing, but this is kind of like a basting liquid that you could use throughout the cooking process. And now what's that one? This is apple cider. Oh, That's actually a, a mulled apple cider. You can smell the cinnamon. I was going to say, that just changed the, like, the, the smell and the flavor profile of it. Yep. That's amazing. So throughout the cooking process now, when we throw it in the oven, mm -hmm. uh, you can have liquid in here. You can take a little ladle to start basting the, the pork loin so as it cooks. It? So you want to throw that one in the oven and then yep. show we'll, off our finished we'll pull product? pull out the other one, yep. Perfect. i got to say, this looks pretty good. I think this is one of my favorite items that you have on your menu. Oh, thanks. So there's our finished product. Now, when you want to cut this up, how do you want to do it? Uh, we'll do this as a, a special usually. You okay. Know, so. so what I'm going to do is take take that. We sliced a little bit earlier. Yeah, oh no, we but sampled really, a little bit earlier. It's really just to show people how it comes out. Um, okay. When you do slice it, it is still a pinwheel. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing, I, I'm not using the raw pork hand on the, Good on the pork Good decision, loin, Greg. But and it's, it's a different cutting board too. That's really important too, exactly. to keep your cutting board separate. Use a separate one for pork and chicken and all that good stuff. Of course. Now the twine is still wrapped around this, so you want to be careful to uh, to remove that too. Like Not eat the twine as you cut. And uh, you know you can put this on a platter with uh, with all your roasted vegetables and wow. and all that. So. Greg, this looks great. I want to thank you so much, and I can't wait for the commercial break because I want to dig in real All bad. right. It's Thanks, a pleasure sir. having you here. Thank you. So try this dish and so many more. Head over to Chandler's Restaurant. They're located at 25 Greenfield Road in South Deerfield and you can call 413-665-1277 to make your reservation today.